built for NoCoHQ. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple admin dashboard or admin uh, panel, or however you want to call it, for your Bubble application. So let's say uh, you have a Bubble application and you have some uh, directory or whatever it is, a social network, what you usually want to have as well is some kind of admin panel where only certain types of users should be able to access this admin panel and do all kinds of modifications, um, delete users, moderate content, and so on and so forth. And there's one specific type uh, or way that we always do that, and this is how I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So what I'm just going to do here, I'm going to create a new bu bubble app. I'm going to call this admin uh, admin dashboard tutorial, okay, and click on create a new app. Agreed with the application system like always. What I want to do, I want to start with a blank page, okay? All right, so let's close the assistant, okay? And let's just assume, okay, we're, let's have, say we have a bubble application, which is a directory. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to the data tab. And right now we have the data type user. And what I'm going to create, just as an example here in this case, I want to create a directory uh, or listing data type, okay? A listing will compose, let's say, of a name, okay? It will compose of a price, which is of type number, and let's just say an image. So let's keep it really, really simple, okay? Or actually, let's, let's do like a description maybe. Let's keep it even simpler, okay? And let's say um, here on our main page, on our index page, I'm going to make this actually a bit smaller. Um, let's say we have, um, let's say we have here the, just the title, which says um, all listings, okay? All listings, and I'm going to just center that, make it a bit nicer. So center, maybe bold, and bigger font, okay? And under all listings, we just have a repeating group, and users can take a look at all the listings and uh, purchase a listing. Um, it's going to have full list here, let's say two rows, and this should be do a search for all listings in the database, okay? And again, let's keep it really simple. Let's just have a text here, which is going to be the current sales listing name. Beneath that, I want to have the uh, price. Let's have the price here. Let's make that um, bold. And beneath this, let's have the description which should be a bit smaller I'm not bold and it's going to be a description. So really, really simple as you can see. Um, and this should not be the main focus of this tutorial here now. What I want to show you is how to create an admin dashboard, okay? So this here is what users will be able to see. They will be able to go into your application on your website, take a look at all listings, purchase it, whatever you want to do, okay? Uh, and you will probably have another user uh, area, user dashboard, where they can add new listings and manage their messages or whatever. But what I'm going to show you now is how to add an admin uh, dashboard, okay? So I'm going to add a new page. I'm just going to call this admin, okay? I'm going to click on create. It actually doesn't matter what you call. This is just what the, uh, basically the page name is called. Um, you could use something else just so people don't know it's the admin dashboard. And let's now take a look. So... The important thing for that admin dashboard is obviously protecting this page from unauthorized users. Okay? And there's multiple ways in doing this in Bubble. Um, and one important way of defining who is an admin is to define that within our user data type. Okay? And I'm, uh, I, I'm going to simply do this by just creating a new field. I'm going to call this hierarchy. Okay? And this field will be of type text. Okay? You could also do a field name called admin, and it could be yes or no, but I'm just going to use hierarchy, okay? And it's of type text. And this hierarchy field will define basically what hierarchy our user is in. So it could be user, let's say moderator, and admin, okay? And now that we have this field, we can work with this, okay? And we can use this. First of all, we can use it by, in this admin dashboard page, we can go to workflows, and we can say, okay, when, when, do when a condition is true, okay? And now it's going to ask us where, which condition. We can say when the current user's hierarchy is not admin, and I'm going to manually enter this. When this is when he, this is the case, so when he's not an admin, we should immediately navigate him back to the index page, okay? So what this workflow he basically does is just checks if the user is an admin, and if he's not an admin, he should be redirected to our index page, okay? That's already a good security way. However, it's not perfect because um, this is executed by JavaScript and uh, sometimes things could go wrong uh, when a page is loaded or this 
this is just not executable, how, why, however. Um, and you want to have a, another layer of security in it. Actually, the best way of security in Bubble is by going to your database, data tab here, going to privacy and defining some privacy rules, okay? So for example, for listing, we can say, okay, let's define a new role. We want to have um, our new role, which is admin. So our admins should have different rights for the listing data type than, our, than everyone else or the normal users, okay? So let's start off with the normal users, so everyone else. Should they be able to view all fields? Maybe not all. Let's say they should be able to view the name, the price, um, the creation date, and the description. They should not be see by whom it is created and the modified date and so on. And they should be able to find this in searches. Okay. However, they should not be able, uh, allowed to do auto binding. Okay. And we're going to take a look at what that means in a second. However, now we can take a look at our admin here and we can say, all right, when the current user's hierarchy is admin, which means he's an admin, then he should be able to view all fields, find this in searches, view attached files, and allow auto binding for all fields. So you can see the permissions are different between normal users and users where the hierarchy is admin. All right. I can also create just another data type, just as an example. So let's just, for example, say you here, whatever this is, okay, and you just create, consists of a name. And let's say this is a data type which only admins should be allowed to see. What you can do now, you can head over to privacy. You can define a new role for the data type U. And again, same thing, I'm going to call this admin. When the current user's hierarchy is admin, he should be allowed, to, or the admin should be allowed to view everything. However, for you, let's say we don't want anyone else to be able to see anything about it. So actually, if a user is not admin, users won't be able to see anything about the data type U. So all data entries of the data type U uh, whatever this might be, will not be visible for different users. Okay, awesome. So now that we have our um, our security measures implemented, uh, uh, we can uh, go back to our admin page, and now we're set. Okay, so let's now say in our admin page we have here um, I don't know the listing. Okay, active listings. Okay, and what we can do here now, quite simple, we can have the same repeating group again. Okay, only difference this time is, um, oops, let me change that, only difference this time is that we're going to have not the text of the listing, we're actually going to have inputs which allow the admin to change these values, okay? So bear with me, I'm going to just configure this here a bit, okay? So this should be again do a search for listings, all right? And now I'm just going to say, all right, so we want to have an input here, and this input here should enable auto binding on parent elements thing, okay? And the field to modify is the name. Okay, so this will be an input, and if an admin changes the name here, it will all automatically be applied. Okay, let's have enter name here. Same thing, I'm going to copy this for the price, so we're going to change the price, and let's actually use a multi line input for the description. All right. So I'm going to enable auto binding for description. What I also want to do, I just want to allow uh, admins to delete a listing, but only admins, by just adding a nice icon here, uh, maybe a trash icon, okay, double click on that, choose for, uh, search for delete, or let's say trash, yep, trash, and start at a workflow, so when the trash icon is pressed, I want to delete a thing, and I want to delete the current cells listing, okay. So let's, um, let's actually take a look uh, at our security measures and if they work. So I'm just going to head over here to app data and create a few listings. So let's just create, um, I don't know, first listing for 100. This is a test. Okay, let's create that. Let's create another listing. Um, second listing. Okay, this is also a test. Okay, and let's just create a third listing. Uh, okay. All right, so now we have three listings. So let's take a look at our index page. Let's preview that, okay? And we should just be uh, shown the normal start page. As you can see, all listings, quite simple, straightforward, um, nothing uh, exciting here. We just have our three listings here. First listing, the price, the description, and users can just take a look at that, and that's it, basically. Let's go ahead and test something. Let's actually preview our admin page, okay? Just to keep in mind, what should happen now? We should we should be re redirected um, immediately. So let's preview that. 
As you can see, it just flashed for a split second and then we got redirected instantly. Why? Because we're not an admin right now. Let's do another test. Let's actually just create an account here. So all users, I'm just going to create a new user here. I'm just going to call that NoCoHQ and we're going to leave hierarchy empty or make the hierarchy user. Okay. Let's now log in as this user. So I'm going to click run as. Okay. And again, the admin panel flashes for a second and we're redirected again. Why? Because we are logged in, but we're not an admin. So now I'm going to go in here and change the hierarchy to admin. And let's see what happens now. I'm going to now preview our admin panel again. And now we should not be redirected. As you can see, we are staying on the active listings tab. And you're now within our newly created admin panel where you can easily uh, modify all our listings. Okay. So here we have first listing. Let's change that to, I don't know, fifth listing. And as you can see, the bar updates it and automatically this is updated in our database. Let's change the price to 900, whatever this is. Okay. Um, and let's add an emoji here. Okay. Does that work? All right. And now if we preview our index page again, this should be automatically updated for all other users to see. So here now we have the fifth listing our new price and this is a test with the mode. As you can see, it's quite easy to create um, an admin panel. Always important to keep in mind the security aspects, but you should be good to go with a redirect and of course the privacy settings which are most important. If I just, as an example, let's go back to our admin panel here and um, let me just go back to privacy here and let's actually change the, the privacy settings. So let's say also admins should not be allowed to do auto binding for the name, for example, okay? And if we just refresh that page now, um, we will not be able to change this. If I change this to, I don't know, last listing, you will see that we get the message, sorry, you don't have permission to modify this. And we'll change back to fifth listing because admins do not have the right. So you could create different roles. So you could create a moderator uh, role, for example. And a moderator in the, in the private settings you could define a moderator should be able to just change the description, but you should not be able to change the price and the name. And of course, there are various other things you could do regarding creating users, sending emails, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that was a quick and easy tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something, and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial with NoCreateHQ. Bye.